Good morning. Ken here at the Kawasaki showroom. We've just come back after a ride with the Versus 1000 and the Z1000. And uh, here you see Bobby Roy, who was also riding with us. He was my co-rider. He had the Z1000. I had the Versus 1000, photographer par excellence. And uh, here we are now to give you our feelings about what we had the ride about, what we felt about the ride. And uh, Bobby Roy, your words, please. Hi guys, what's up, what's happening? Uh, well, before I speak about my experience, I would really love to know how you felt about the Versus 1000 because uh, ah, while okay, you're okay. riding, you know, uh, we discuss a lot of stuff about big bikes and these bikes in particular. So, uh, I would really love to know how you felt about the Versus because after seeing the film, after seeing the episode 1, which we shared a little while back, uh, I'm sure those of you who have watched the video are pretty, you know, uh, amazed by how much I've shown the Z1000 as compared to the Versus. So that I would like to understand your feelings when it comes to uh, the versus one hundred. Um, is it a love it hate it relationship, or do you completely uh, love the bike? Well, um, <laughs> it's 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 not an easy thing because you see the way I'm standing here with the motorcycle. Mm -hmm. It is it, it is you can see it's it's, it's a quite a big motorcycle, right? Right. right. I mean, so uh, I'm one sixty eight centimeters. Uh, I won't say that it's difficult. It's really easy once it starts rolling. It's very easy. The Clutch, fantastic. How about your clutch? Well, uh, this particular bike that I was riding uh, had, a, had a really uh, messy clutch. Otherwise, uh, see, this is this is a brand new machine that we are standing with right now. This, this is not the same machine that he rode with. Actually, yes, he rode yes. a, a little older machine. This is the 2016 uh, Z1000. Yeah, but the, this the, this clutch is absolutely fantastic. I mean, this is quarter smooth. I mean, this is this is smoother than probably any clutch that I have ever pulled in. <laughs> so you know, that is the kind of. Uh, and overall, it has been a fantastic bike. I mean, given the sort of money that it demands, which is about 13.4 lakhs, I mean, right? yes. I say it is damn good value for money. It is. It is a cracker of a bike in the city. It goes like anything. I mean, that how how fast is your machine? I mean, how oh, this, like is, this, is, this is this is amazing machine. I mean, uh, if you want, if you whack open the throttle, uh, I got a brand new machine as well. I mean, this is also not the same bike that I rode, but uh, here you got the, all the accessories, and if you whack open the throttle, it, it goes. You know, I mean. Fourth gear, you're crossing 210 kilometers an hour. It's amazing. Um, the people who talk about comfort, people who talk about sofas in their houses, they don't know what comfort is till they sat on this seat. Correct. It is plush. You know, uh, he had a pillion. He had a pillion who was a, a beautiful lady, and she was riding with him behind that pillion for some time. And, uh, and and she had she had thoughts of her own when she got <laughs> off the bike. Trust me. And uh, for about two or three days, we did not speak to each other. And uh, when she when she sat on this bike, <laughs> she said, oh. when she sat on that bike, she was like, okay, he's my best friend. You know, that is the kind of uh, you know that is the kind of communication that we had. I mean, this seat is really nice when it comes to city riding, but this is like you know Kawasaki has plonked a piece of wood. In terms of seat, so uh, I mean, it is not meant for uh, touring as such. It can do that, and like we have done so, but I don't believe that it is outrightly meant for touring. Then, is it? I don't believe so either. It's a, it's, a, it's a street fighter. It's a proper street fighter. It's a motorcycle that rides the streets, red light drags, and all of that. Right, right, fantastic. Right. And but you, you, I believe you rode it really fast, right? Yes, yes. I I rode it really fast. I was redlining it in all the gears, not always, but when the road opens up. And I believe you took it to uh, Rajasthan, I guess, as well. Sir. That's correct. Right. When I when I when I tested this motorcycle about a year back, I was yeah, it was really good. You can see that video also. We put it up some time ago. Right. Uh, as far as this bike goes, you know, it is a proper sports tourer. I mean, I would like to put it in the same category as the maybe the 14R or the uh, Ninja 1000. It's got all the bells and whistles. You have the KTRC uh, traction control, you have the APS, you have uh, traction modes, you have uh, uh, power modes, you have everything, and you have an adjustable screen. It's really comfortable. You pack on the luggage and you do 1000 kilometers in a day, and you won't feel a thing. Absolutely nothing. It just goes rolls and rolls. Also, we took it on some really, really, yes. really bad roads. It that. just, it just, you just don't feel it. It just don't feel it. It's, it's quite amazing. Absolutely. On those bad roads, my back was completely broken because the suspension is set so hard. It's meant for city riding. It is meant for hard cornering and stuff. So my back really bore the brunt of it all. You know? And secondly, this bike does not have any such uh, technical luxuries as such. You know, apart from ABS, there is no electronic gadget ring, so to speak. So yes, the suspension is hard, the seat was really hard, but overall 
you know, as much negative as I can speak about it, that that does not even matter because the kind of acceleration, the kind of thrill that the Z1000 has, and the looks. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I was being stopped at every major junction just to look at the bike, and people were saying, like, you get off the bike, man, let me have a look at the bike without the rider. So I mean, this is really, really an attractive bike. This looks sexy. This looks straight out of a Transformers movie. You know, this is such a beautiful looking machine, and it goes like a rocket, man. I was absolutely blown away. I've always heard about the Z1000's power delivery and the performance, but that the, the day I rode it, since then I have not looked at any other bike whatsoever. I was earlier a fan of a different motorcycle, <laughs> which he knows perfectly well. But this bike has changed that concept in my mind completely, as if you know I don't even remember what that bike was. So that is the kind of love that I have with this bike right now. I'm completely in love with this baby. Strangely, we keep talking about this motorcycle, right? Yes, yes. <laughs> so you know, you know, so uh, time and time again, we come back to the Z1000, and we somehow we overshadow the Z versus 1000. I don't know why. I mean, uh, I mean, it's a, it's a good motorcycle. I wouldn't compare it with you know with the ADVs that you have, like the Tiger or the um, or the uh, Multistrada and all that. Uh, this is a very good, comfortable tourer. I mean, uh, I have ridden all kinds of com all kinds of uh, sports tourers, but this is this takes the cake. You know, I mean, it's it's is it's top value for money. Uh, they are the same price approximately. Right. And uh, well, you would go for this. Any day, any day. Given a choice, I would go for it right now. You know, if I can take it up, take it away from the showroom, I would probably take it and never give it back to them. <laughs> probably they're listening somewhere. <laughs> but you know, that is that is how much I'm in love with the Z1000. I mean, I can I can talk day in and day out about the bike, but still can't get enough of it. And I'm, I'm completely head over heels, man. Completely head over heels. So that's about it for today. Then uh, we would come back with more for you with some other motorcycles in our next episode. Keep following us. Keep subscribing. Absolutely. Thank you so much okay. for watching, guys. And I think in the next episode we are going to ride even bigger bikes. Uh, hopefully. Yep. Yeah. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for liking, sharing, and please keep in touch. And if you have any any questions, any doubts, leave us a comment, leave us a feedback, and we'll surely get back to you. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Bobby Roy. Thank you, Thank everybody you. viewers. Thank you.